Hey, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and today I'm going to show you how to resolve the problem with the silhouette only being able to import the first page of any PDF. So here's one I just tried to import. It gave me zero selection in terms of printing page two or page three in this particular printable has three pages to it, as you can see here, one, two, three pages, but it will only allow me to import the first page. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Silhouette upgraded their software and now to do your print and cuts, you might have a problem like I've been having where I try to drag in my file and I cannot select what page to bring in. It will only print or bring in the first page of any PDF file. This PDF file has three pages to it, but I can't even select page two or three. And I did call Silhouette when they first released the, the software upgrade and told them this was the problem, but they indicated it was just on my side of the house. So, I did not upgrade to the software version and it kept my old version and that's what I've been using. However, I know notice that now other people are having the same problem I've had. So please report this problem to Silhouette so they know it's not just my problem, uh, but it is indeed a bug in their software that happened when they released the new version. Now the version that I'm using is, 4.3. I do have the business edition, but this is the case. It is my understanding. This is the case for the deluxe edition as well. Uh, so it's, I don't think it's just the business edition that's having this problem. So I'm using 4.3.372. So hopefully they will fix this in the future, but for now, here's the workaround that I found. So if you have a PDF file, that has three pages, just drop your PDF file to your desktop and you can duplicate it. Just right click and click duplicate and then you have the second PDF file. Or if you hit Alt and then hold down your mouse and move the uh, image or the PDF file, you'll get a, another copy. So you basically have you know multiple copies of this on your desktop. So now that I have multiple copies, where to go? Hold please, there it is. Okay, now I have multiple copies on my desktop. So the first one obviously will come in with the first page. I just drop that in. It, you know, the color, colors might look a little off, but they print fine for me on my end. So this looks a little bit brighter than it does when I look at it from a PDF perspective. So if I open my PDF for you, you can see there are three pages here but that PDF looks duller than it's showing up on my silhouette, but it is printing fine when I print this out. So there is that one. And if I want to do the second page, I just open up another tab and then I can come in here, open up this PDF file and then just delete that first page. Okay. And now when I drag it in, it gives me my second page. So I can you know, put my registration mark on there, kind of line it up. Then I can do my third page. Again, just opening up that PDF, just deleting the page I don't need anymore. And now dragging it into my silhouette program. So it's here. Okay, so that's how I'm getting all of the pages in there. It's kind of a workaround, but you know, I don't know what else to tell you because they have assured me this is only my problem. So <laughs> you're gonna have to call them if you think, um, if you're having the same problem as I'm having. It is a bug in my opinion. So uh, once you get to your images here, then you can do the same thing that we've always done which is trace the images. So you just open the trace panel, select the trace area, highlight what you want to 
basically outline, move your threshold. I do the threshold to the point that it covers everything that I need, but I don't automatically go to like a hundred or like 90, 97. I try to get as close as I can uh, to having the outline uh, pretty well filled in without going over essentially. And then just trace the outer edge and you can see that you'll have your trace lines there. And then also when you print this out, it will print out just fine. So hopefully this helps somebody. <laughs> I, I, um, I don't know what to say when it comes to building software, uh, but uh, apparently I'm not the only one that's having this problem. So hopefully this does help someone out and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.